Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So before we start, as usual, I'm not a financial advisor and all the content information in this video is my own opinion and my own market observation. So let's start today with the one hour time frame because Bitcoin is still in this upper range here of around $10,400. We had yesterday some dumps and pumps as we are used on the weekend. But right now it looks like we are coming to an end here and we should see a breakout here to the upside up to the main resistance at around 10,800 or also a breakout to the downside here and in that case my target would be around $9,500. So be aware of what is happening uh, right now if you are in a trade because I believe as soon as we break it at $10,300 which is right now the key level for this current situation that we are right now we could be in for a major dump here in case that we're really breaking this ten thousand three hundred dollar line and in that case i'm probably going to open a short position i think we probably going to have another leg up here because uh, here in the one hour you see the stochastic is uh, oversold already uh, the RSI just started to trade below the 50 line so we started to trade on the bearish side so that means if we break the ten thousand three hundred dollar we're gonna see a quite huge sell-off in my opinion and bring here of course all of the RSI down to oversold territory but if we can recover here as soon as possible above the 50 um, we're probably gonna test here again the ten thousand four hundred twenty dollar and maybe also break it to the upside uh, hopefully so let's have a look also on the four hour time frame here you can see the stochastic also is in neutral territory and the rsi still at the 50. we are above the 20 moving average here in the four hours so this is lining up perfectly with our support here so as soon this is broken in my opinion we will see this uh, sell-off here probably down to at least 10,900 or maybe even further down to 9,500 dollar so be aware of what is going on in the next couple of hours guys because I'm not in a trade right now but I think about to open a short position as soon as we break this level uh, here. Also consider that uh, on Friday we closed the future contracts at $10,265 so usually we always retrace uh, more or less back to where we closed the future contracts on Monday. But uh, of course, it doesn't mean that we have to go again to 10,260. We could go lower or higher. But in my opinion, we will see here um, a breakout pretty soon here to the downside or to the upside. Especially if you're going to break here this main support that we are building up here on the way towards our main resistance line. So let's go back to the Bitstamp chart and let's have a final look here on the daily time frame. Because also here we're trading on a critical level. You see that we are exactly at the 20 moving average here. We got rejected again from the 50 daily moving average. So this 21, if this is also getting broken, we break so many supports that I believe this sell-off here can be quite huge, at least down to 9,800, maybe 9,500. So I'm probably going to open a short position if we're gonna break it today it can also happen that we're gonna see this breakout tomorrow but i believe that we're gonna see it today most likely or maybe the end of uh, the day also here in the daily you see the stochastic was in overbought territories coming back into neutral and the rsi is still at the 50 level so here we don't have uh, important movements here so we are still waiting for this big breakout to the upside or to the downside right now i am more bearish than bullish with this coming move that we are seeing probably in the next couple of hours even though we have still this future gap above of us and i still believe that we're probably gonna first see this breakout here to 12k and uh, then have to see if we get rejected here or not and also what could make me believe that we will see a breakout here to the upside is that if we go to the daily time frame and into the altcoins you can see that uh, we yesterday we managed in some alts to break out here the 20 daily moving average and close above of it and right now we are having this 20 daily as support here such here in litecoin we see that also in ethereum for example xrp also closed above the 20 daily and right now we're having this as a support line so this could be maybe the beginning of the alt season or at least a sign that the alts are coming back 
and I believe if this is a valid close above the 20 daily and Bitcoin is going to break out to the upside towards 12k I think the alls are probably on the way here to the 50 or 200 daily moving average so keep an eye on these moving averages here and depending maybe where Bitcoin is gonna top out or get rejected next the alts probably also get rejected in one of these two important moving averages here. If they are able to break above the 200 daily, then I think the altcoin season is confirmed and this is like the really beginning of a big altcoin season as well. But in order to happen this, Bitcoin must break the 12,000, must go to 16,000 and maybe create new higher highs in order that the alts can really recover above the 200 daily moving average. So this could take a long time still, but at least right now we are seeing some uh, bull signs here in the alts. So right now it's really depending what Bitcoin is doing next and if this support that we are having right now at 10,300 is holding or not. Because if we're gonna start a huge sell off right now or a big dump in Bitcoin, also all the alts uh, will probably fall down and this uh, bullish breakout that we're seeing right now is gonna be invalid so hopefully we're gonna break out here to the upside but let's see i'm gonna trade here the breakout to the upside if we break the 10,440 level uh, but also if we break it to the downside and we're seeing getting rejected it from this previous support uh, if we're gonna test it back up again uh, i'm gonna open here a short position of course and if you also want to trade the breakout, maybe with leverage, go to my video description There you can find the invitation code for Bybit for this exchange. So you can trade up to 100x here. Uh, if you scroll down, you see different links and this is the one for Bybit. There is also some other links like for Coinbase Earn where you can get some free cryptos here if you using my uh, links. Also, you can see here the miner that I'm using on my PC. You can get uh, 10,000 Satoshi sign up bonus here if you click on my link and download it. I have also a tutorial how to set it up in my video. So if you want to check it out, you're very welcome. And with that said, I'm going to wrap it up, guys. If you like the content, you know what to do. Make sure to subscribe to the channel because I do these videos daily. And also you can participate to my Bitcoin giveaway that I do with every 100 subscribers. So thank you for watching and we see us all in the next one. Bye.